नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू योगामी आई एम योर कोच दीपिका लालवानी एंड बिफोर वी डाइव इन टू आर प्रैक्टिस लेट्स ब्रिंग आर पाम्स टुगेदर क्लोज आर आईज एंड टेक अ मोमेंट टू सेंटर आर माइंड फोकस ऑन योर ब्रेथ एंड विद एवरी एक्सेल अलाउ योर सेल्फ टू रिलैक्स एंड ब्रिंग योर माइंड टू द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट ऑब्जर्व योर पॉस्चर upright your spine and dig your sit bones into the mat come back and relax we are going to start today's practice with a small warm up sit on your mat and extend your feet to the front and as you inhale point your feet away from you as you exhale pull the toes towards your chest keep pushing your knees down and repeat this a few times now place your hands beside you on the mat and start making big circles with your toes first let's do clockwise circles a few times and then we change direction to anti clockwise circles While you're making the circles, make sure that your knees are pushing downwards. This is a thorough warm-up for your ankle joints. Now bend your right leg and bring your foot to the left thigh. As you exhale, push your right knee towards the floor and upright your back. As you inhale, draw the knee back towards the chest. Let's repeat this a few times. and allow the muscles around the groin area to open up now bring your left foot under the right heel and shift the right foot slightly forward now bring your fingertips on the floor and try to push your palms down keeping your back long now slowly keep breathing and try to walk your hands further and further away from your knees going closer to the floor This will gently increase the stretch in your lower back, in your hips and in your outer thighs. Hold this for a few breaths. And then slowly come back. Now let's change side. First push the left knee down into the floor. As you inhale bring your knee towards the chest as you exhale push it down and hold Let's repeat this a few times and allow the muscles around the groin area to open up Now shift your leg slightly up bend the right knee and bring your right foot under the left hip Bring your fingertips to the mat Keep your back upright Now slowly push your palm down Allow your back to open up a little bit more and as you keep breathing walk your hands slowly further and further away from the knees Hold it here for a few deep breaths and allow your outer thighs your hips and your back to open up Now slowly come back to the starting position and sit with your legs crossed push your chest out and as you inhale tilt your head backwards stretching the front of your neck as you exhale bring your chin into your collarbone let's repeat this a few times gently warming up our neck muscles now Now with the next inhale turn your head to the right look over your shoulder and look as far behind you as you can Change side and look to the left When you turn your head take a deep inhale and when you come back to the center exhale Let's repeat this a few times
Let's now tilt our neck sideways, bringing our right ear to the right shoulder as you inhale and as you exhale come back to center. Inhale tilt to the left, exhale come back to the center. Repeat this a few times. Nicely stretching the side of your neck. Now let's make clockwise circles. As you inhale the head will go back and as you exhale the chin will come to the collarbone. Continue to take deep breaths and make big circles. And now let's change side. Inhale, head going back. Exhale, coming forward in an anti-clockwise direction. Now sit upright and stretch your legs to the front. Inhale and lift your hands over the head stretching your spine completely and as you exhale hinge from the hip and touch your toes on the next inhale lift the hands above the head and now bring your right hand to the left foot and left hand to the right foot holding your feet with your arms crisscrossed as you inhale lift the arms above your head again and as you exhale, repeat the crisscross hold. Feel the gentle stretch between your shoulder blades and allow that area to open up. Now let's sit in Vajrasan with our heels tucked under our hip. We will do a back warm up now. This is called as seated marjari or the seated cat and cow. As you inhale, push your chest out, lift up your chin. Push your hip back, arching your back nicely. And as you exhale, round up your back and pull your belly button in towards the spine. Repeat this a few times with complete focus on the movement of your vertebrae. Articulating your back like this makes sure that the back is thoroughly warmed up. This movement improves the blood circulation in the muscles around the spine and in the intervertebrate discs. Now come into cat pose or tabletop position with your wrist, elbow and shoulder in one straight line. Inhale, lifting up your head and arching your back. Exhale as you round up and pull the stomach in. We are repeating the cat and camel stretch or the cat and cow stretch in the all four position now. This movement also serves the same purpose warming up the back thoroughly and preparing it for the flow. Let's move into threading the needle now and inhale as you lift up the right hand. Exhale taking the hand through the gap between your left hand and the knee. This will warm up your thoracic spine or the middle of your back. When you lift your arm up, expand through the chest and as you exhale, rotate from the lower back, taking your shoulder down to the floor. Go nice and slow and give time to your back to open up. Now come back to the starting position and let's repeat threading the needle on the other side. When you lift your arms up, really open up your chest 
and when you exhale rotate from the lower back repeat this a few times taking big relaxing breaths and breathing throughout the movement Now let's go into child pose with a hip on the heels arms completely extended and forehead on the mat Stay here for a few deep breaths and feel the stretch in your upper back Maintain a forward pull on the shoulders and keep pushing your elbows down into the floor Let's come back into Vajrasana and now you're ready to dive into today's flow. Let us now perform butterfly or baddha konasan. To perform this asan from sukhasan, bring the soles of your feet together and hold your toes with your hands. Keeping your back upright, start moving your knees up and down rapidly like the wings of a butterfly. This is going to allow your inner thighs and your hip muscles to open up. And then creating more length in your spine and pushing your knees down with your elbows. Slowly take your head towards the floor. You can either put your forehead on the floor or your nose on the floor or your chin on the floor depending on the mobility of your spine. Hold this pose for a few deep breaths and allow your spine and your inner thighs and your hips to stretch and open up. Come back to Sukhasan and relax for a few deep breaths. This is also a great stretch to do postpartum and also when you are expecting. Let us now learn a heart opener called the fish pose or matsyasan. This is an excellent pose to open up your neck your upper back and your pectoral muscles to perform matsyasan sit on your mat on your hip bones and stretch out your legs in the front toes pointed place your hands on the mat behind you with your fingers pointing towards your hips now bend one elbow and then the other and lower your forearms into the mat push your chest out and upwards and drop your head back creating space around your heart opening up your rib cage and stretching your upper back to come out of this pose bring the head up first and then come up all the way now let's do another variation of fish pose in a cross legged position Sit in Padmasan placing your right foot on left thigh and the left foot on the right thigh Place your hands behind you on the mat fingers pointing towards the hip go down on one elbow and then the other push your chest out and drop the head backward You can rest the crown of your head on the mat now and hold your big toes continue to push your chest upward and outward you can keep your hands on the mat also to come out of this pose push the floor and come back to the sitting position stay here and continue to breathe deeply now 
लेट एस नाउ परफॉर्म कोबरा और भुजंग आसन टू डू भुजंग आसन लाइ डाउन ऑन योर टमी कीप योर टोज पॉइंटेड एंड योर फीट टूगेदर पुश योर प्यूबिक बोन इन टू द मैट बेंड योर एल्बोज एंड ब्रिंग योर पार्म्स अंडर योर शोल्डर्स टक योर एल्बोज इन टू योर रिब केज क्रिएट लेंथ इन टू योर नेक बाय पुशिंग योर शोल्डर्स अवे फ्रॉम द ईयर्स टेक अ डीप इन हेल एंड एज यू एक्जेल लिफ्ट योर चेस्ट अप पुशिंग द मैट अवे फ्रॉम यू डू नॉट लूज द कॉन्टैक्ट बिटवीन द प्यूबिक बोन एंड द मैट Hold it here and breathe deeply. We are going to hold this pose for 8 to 10 deep breaths. This is a very simple pose and yet very effective to stretch your lower back and also to strengthen your core. You can perform this stretch every day and make your back and your core stronger. Slowly now come back into the mat and relax. Let us now get into the Setu Baddhasan or the hip bridge pose. To perform this pose, come in supine position with your knees bent and your feet placed hip distance apart ground your shoulders ground your feet and place your arms slightly away from your body palms facing up as you inhale lift the hip up as high as you can and hold it there for a few deep breaths this is a great pose for strengthening your hips your hamstrings and your quadriceps which are the muscles in the front of your thigh Slowly come back to the floor take a few deep breaths and now let's add a modification to complete this pose With an inhale engage your core and push your hip up and start walking your shoulders towards your ankles With your hands grab your ankles and then lift your chest slightly more up pushing it towards your chin engaging your hip muscles and your core to make sure that your lower back doesn't stress come back to the mat stretch your legs out and stay here for a few deep breaths anulom vilom Or alternate nostril breathing should not be practiced while suffering from cold and flu. Let's now practice alternate nostril breathing or Anulom Vilom. But before that, it is important to learn the Nasagra Mudra. Bring the middle finger of your right hand on the center of your forehead, your thumb on the right nostril, and your ring finger on the left nostril. Relax your index finger and pinky finger. As you lift your thumb up, take a deep inhale through the right nostril and then close the right nostril. Lift up your ring finger and exhale completely through the left nostril. Now take a deep inhale through the left nostril, close the left nostril, lift up your thumb and exhale completely through the right nostril. This completes one round of Anulom Vilom. As you continue to breathe like this try to increase the duration of each breath without straining Try to practice 5 to 7 rounds of this breathing and then relax This is a very relaxing and balancing breath that improves focus and concentration this breath activates both right as well as the left hemisphere of our brains sit back and relax and breathe normally bhramri should not be practiced in a lying down position 
or while suffering from severe ear infections. Let us now practice Brahmari Pranayam or the Humming Bee Breath. Sit in a comfortable meditation posture and lift up your elbows. Bring your middle finger on your eyes, your ring finger gently pressing your nostrils, your thumb inside your ears but gently pressing, your index finger and your pinky finger just resting on your face. Inhale through the nose and exhale slowly in a controlled manner while making a deep steady humming sound. The sound should be soft and mellow, making the front of your forehead vibrate. Brahmari helps in getting rid of anger, anxiety and insomnia and increases the capacity of the body to heal itself. It strengthens and improves the voice and induces a meditative state. Bring your hands back on your knees and take a few relaxing breaths. Initially, 5 to 10 rounds of primary breathing is sufficient. You can slowly increase the duration to 10 to 15 minutes. Come to a supine position, lying on your back. Keep your legs wider than your hips and your hands away from the body, palms facing up. Allow your feet to fall sideways and now take a few deep inhalations and very long exhalations. Notice your breath moving in and out of your body and let your breath follow its natural cycle. Do not try to control your breath right now. Just be aware of it and just enjoy the beauty of your breath. With each inhalation, experience a sense of expansion and openness in the body and with each exhalation, feel a sense of relaxation and peacefulness. Every time you exhale, let go of any tension in the muscles. Feel the weight of your body on the floor. and allow yourself to melt a little bit further down into the floor underneath you letting go completely surrendering to the gravity scan your body and maybe you can notice a sense of warmth or tingling in different parts of your body observe how your hands and feet are feeling right now and allow your body to just be as it is. Allow yourself to be just as you are. You are whole. You are complete. You are perfect. You are beautiful. And above all, you are alive. Notice your breath as it comes in and goes out of the body, knowing you are breathing. Stay in this state for a few minutes.
stretch out your legs stretch out your arms above the head just be here for a while turn on the left side and slowly come back to a sitting position bring your hands in prayer pose or namaskar mudra and be thankful for all your blessings now start rubbing your palms make them nice and warm and now place your warm palm on your eyes massaging your eyes gently bring your hands back in prayer pose and slowly open up your eyes thank you for practicing with me today i will see you again on yogami